What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Chuck T come back with another video, man. And yeah, I'm gonna do a quick video. Hope y'all had a good, a good 2020, which it wasn't good. Well, it was almost damn I almost fell. <laughs> but it was it was good until the last month. Then, you know, something happened. But uh but yeah man. It's I'm I'm hoping 2021 is a good year. Look at it. Uh love the nature, man. Woo! Gotta get out the truck every now and then. But we just dropped the load off. About to go pick up another one. And uh and yeah, man. I'm just telling y'all, happy new year. And the the I know y'all seen the title of the video. The title of the video ta broke my truck i had my first breakdown people and um that shit hurt man i had my first breakdown damn you see how cold it is outside I mean, my shit looking make my shit look great because it's cold as shit but uh but yeah i had my first breakdown uh because we went to the old one we dropped off the load and well to pick up a load and then I seen a whole trail of oil. And um mind you, I just stopped at TA and we drove straight from TA to the old one. And my 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 truck started pouring out oil. So, you know, we, we backed up, I opened up the door, and uh the and I and I looked and it was oil like everywhere in the engine and stuff like that. But the 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 problem was it was the oil was coming out of the where the oil filter is so i this is this is another thing this is why y'all should have this is why y'all should have tools on your truck because i had some pliers and i was able to i was trying at first i was trying to tighten it up to try to you know see if it'll stop it because it wasn't tight all the way so that that was one of the problems while i was spilling oil but i tightened it up and it did not fix the problem so road assist they messed me back they said uh well if why don't you uh untighten it and check the the uh o-ring make sure the o-ring was all right took it off and o-ring was, was was broke in half so that was the problem what the problem was so um luckily the people who worked there, they seen it, and they ended up uh, telling me, "Hey, there's a Penske down the down the street that fits our trucks. Maybe if you call them, maybe they'll have they'll have one." And they actually called them, and they actually had one, and they gave me one. So one of the guys who worked there, he took me to the Penske, and he got me he got me another O ring. So it saved me from having to get a tow because my truck was leaking so much oil. So I went on. He drove me down there and I picked up another O-ring, slapped it on there, screwed it on there, tightened it up. Now my baby's back running, yeah. But that's why, you know, y'all should, you know, have, you know, try, try to learn a little bit of me mechanical um, knowledge so you can, you know, do stuff like that. Because if I would've had to call a tow truck, that probably would've been like $500 that I would've had to pay. But I, I went on and gave the dude who, who took me down there, I gave him $100 because he saved me, five, I'm, what, he saved me what, five, six hundred dollars Ain't no telling how long they probably would have made me wait. I would have lost the load. I, you know, I would have lost all kinds of money, so. Um, but yeah, but that just, you know, a quick a quick update about what's going on. See, I told you it's cold as shit out here. You see this? I'm making this video for y'all motherfuckers. All right, but, uh, but yeah, since I'm out here freezing my ass off of y'all, hit that like button and, um, if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down, don't really matter. But hit that subscribe button, it's free. All right, it's your boy Chuck T, and I'm out. Peace.